Hi, I'm Ian Anderson, an Apple Certified Trainer. While it's true that some kinds of productions don't need anything more than a simple cross-dissolve, clever use of transitions can make a positive impact. Cormelt's Polychrome Transition Pack has many such transitions, and today we'll look at how to apply some of them in an unusual way. Part of the power of a transition is to grab attention, and a key way that happens is by changing the settings from the defaults to produce something original. For example, the light wash transition provides a quick way to animate light rays across an image. You can create a significantly different effect by changing the angle, light length, strength and width, and threshold. Once you've found an effect that suits you, save it as a preset by pressing the plus button next to the presets menu. Save a few variations on a theme, perhaps just changing one parameter at a time. You can apply a preset by choosing it from the menu and pressing the load button immediately to the right. A not so obvious use of transitions is to apply an unusual effect to a superimposed logo, image or text. There are a great many effects which look good in this context, so let's take a look at a few examples. Roulette provides some movement which is otherwise quite difficult to achieve. Adjust the images to spin number to affect the speed and the zoom out amount to affect the smallest size. Horizontal is the default, but you could also switch to vertical movement. Similar is the tilt and fly transition, which allows movement and tilting in any direction. Slice across, barcode and image mask wipe are all useful for revealing an image, usually in strips or with a wipe shape. The parameters let you change the speed and type of strips or shape you want. Radial mask is an alternative if your client really wants a star shape. Try it in reverse on the transition out by activating the in out checkbox. Chroma grow shrink is different, effective and easy to change. Modify the red, green and blue parameters to affect the speed of each channel and use the type drop down to grow or shrink. Lab Film Blowout and Exposure Flash will blow out different tones in the image at different times. Use them in a short transition to grab attention quickly. Spinner is a great way to make a product spin around X, Y and or Z axes. Make it quick for best effect. For a more realistic look in Swift transitions, double click any transition and press the Globals button. Now choose Motion Blur, enable it and choose the number of samples. Higher values take longer to render, but give a smoother result. A useful technique to enhance any product shot or text overlay is to grow that object over time. Combining this with a transition is also effective. For a product shot, logo, or other important artwork, animating the scale parameter in the Motion tab is all you need to do. First, position the playhead at the point in time that the object is to stop growing and set the scale appropriately. Now, set a keyframe with the Add Delete keyframe button. Finally, move the playhead to the start of the clip and turn the size down. A new keyframe will automatically be created for you. To smooth out the animation, right click on the second point and choose Smooth. This will decelerate growth before it stops entirely. Now that we've got some text growing slowly over time, let's add a few more transitions that look good on text. Focus Pull Dissolve is a classic effect that works well with text, especially more than one element appearing in close succession. Gradually removing a pixelation effect is a similarly effective transition, and Pixelate Crossfade and Color Blocks Dissolve both provide a number of options. The new Strobe Transition flicks quickly with straight cuts, but is a great way to flicker text on. Use Random to simulate a fluorescent light, or Increasing to allow the text to become more steady over time. PsychoMod resembles an image that's been distorted through a moving, multifaceted prism. Experimenting with the blur parameter in particular can give very different results. In addition to the superimposed objects and text treatments we've looked at, often you need to transition, subtly or not, from one full frame shot to another. Additive Dissolve is just a little different from Cross Dissolve. There's no visual dip in the middle and you have more comprehensive controls over the fading if you choose in-out as the type of curve. 
Blend Mode Dissolve, a free transition, lets you apply a variety of effects using different blend modes. Screen will give you a softer transition than Additive Dissolve, while Color Dodge keeps colors rich throughout. Lab Film Dissolve approximates an old-style film dissolve with separate controls over blacks and whites. Exposed Darks is a filmic alternative to a simple fade-in, fade-out dissolve. Need something a little less subtle? Film Blowout Wipe is probably one of the gentlest wipes available, and Glass Slices is another softer alternative. Not subtle at all? Channel Change isn't subtle, but works well and has plenty of options. Video Screen's 4-Way lets you include up to two additional clips in a simple moving transition, useful for recapping a previous shot, telegraphing a future shot, or acknowledging a shot in passing. Push Away and Spin, Explode and Spin Back, and Random Cloud Transition give a 3D effect with plenty of energy. There are many, many transitions included with Final Cut Pro and in the Polychrome Transitions Pack. While they're not always appropriate, an interesting transition, well used, can really add to a piece. Experiment, create something unique, and save your presets for best results. We'd love to see what you come up with, so please share your settings on the forums. They might even make it into the next release as fresh presets. Thanks for watching.